All right, folks, we're going to go at it again here in just a uh, short. Uh, sitting here, uh, it's Friday afternoon about, I don't know, about 4 o'clock, uh, waiting on uh, Adam Tucker to get here. Adam is a former player of mine, quarterback for me back in when I was a head football coach and um, back in the late 90s. And he and I are going to go out and fish today. And I'm actually out practicing my frog fishing and I'm gonna be wearing the chest camera today just so I can watch uh, how I'm frog fishing and uh, he told me he was gonna be swimming a jig and uh, uh, pitching a and punching with a Texas rig in the grass we're gonna be in the grass the whole time so anyways waiting on Adam to get here and uh, just gonna let you know what what you could uh, look forward to seeing and why you could look forward to seeing it. but, but uh, we'll uh, get started here momentarily maybe we'll catch one folks out here fishing today uh, it's a uh, friday afternoon late afternoon got me and a former quarterback when i back my coaching days adam tucker with me see if we can get a few bites back there he is uh out trying to see if we can get a bite right now i'm practicing with my frog and he is uh fishing a swim jig And I'm wearing this chest camera today, just uh, trying to get better at my videoing. Right now I'm not very good. I think I'm on boat is anyway. I'm gonna go on around that. That looks pretty good right over there, but I think it might be too shallow. I think that's right. I'm just fishing a regular flipping jig. You swimming on? Right now, I'm uh, flipping, but I'm fixing to throw a swim jig. I think I'm so big. We got to catch one where I can get you on video. We'll start talking about fishing after that. <laughs> oh, Richard Jean taught me that, though. That's how he does. That's why he always wears that chest camera. Day, cause I went that day too, and uh, you were there earlier, about yeah. an hour or two before I was, or a couple of hours. That's where I met him too. He was there looking for that plug Daddy caught, <laughs> spanked me on the other day. Daddy found his tackle box from when I was a kid. It had been in storage, <laughs> and believe it or not, they don't tell him what some of that stuff in there is worth. He found an old devil's horse in there, two of them. I mean, I can remember just religiously him fishing that devil's horse. My granddaddy did me that and uh, Hellbender. Hell yeah. And uh, of course, mother looked it up and they, they were going in that condition for about $75, $80. She said, what are you gonna do that thing? You gonna tie it on fish? <laughs> Tell you what, this is a good looking spot right here. I don't ever do much on it. You ever fish it? Oh, uh, I have, not a lot, but we have some. I noticed it in here the day before yesterday. I didn't stop and fish it. I noticed it was a good place that would hold a frog. Thought, why not? I'm frog practicing anyway. I don't get blown up on this thing. You're talking about mad. I mean, keep in mind, I sit about where you're at and watch my brother just get blow up after blow up. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm telling you, frog, and it jigs that way a little bit. It's all about the touch you got on them. I mean, you can, 
I can be getting bit on a jig and you can't get bit and vice versa, you know. Everybody's got their own stroke and how they fish stuff. I think a lot of it is having enough confidence to keep it in your hand. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that's, that's how come I, I'm going to start putting up rods when I'm out practicing like today. That's when you saw me putting up rods. Of course, I got way too many rods. I'm too lazy to retie. So. <laughs> I want to keep as many rods up there. They got to be a fish right here, man. Oh, yeah. I forget what kind that is. Uh, cheap. Bought this rod right here. Oh my God, that's a job. Easy. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> he said I needed to catch one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Mmm. Mm. I thought that was a whale come out of that grass when he hit it. And he is, but I mean, the whole grass might move. Yeah. Okay, you get to see Adam Tucker on video here. We're going to weigh his fish for him. Look at her tail. I wonder if she's just postponed, I guess. Yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to get that stuff. And then we're going to get them gill there. I'm going to get him one of them clamps. Got it? She's good enough. Man, that's a good one. It's a good fish, Berno. Hey, go hold up and get a pick. Let's see. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Yes, sir. Good fish, Berno. Hey. For the record, folks, I count half of that, and that's on my pole right there. That's right. <laughs> it's blowing it off. Yeah. Woo. I, get you I caught one big enough, you gotta put it on. Me. Oh, yeah, it's going on there. <laughs> and what's funny about it is uh, I'm wearing this chest. I can't wait to see the footage of me scrambling around against the <laughs> <laughs> So if I'd had it right there, it went totally blank. You know, you'd, you'd have been nobody in there. wasn't nothing to have. Mm -hmm. Now, there's plenty of water. We're six foot deep over here. Tell you what, you taught me something on fighting that big fish, too. You just, uh, you didn't get no ground with it. I got you. On that grass. <laughs> I'm talking about when he was up here around the boat. I get I get panicky when they get it when I get them if they're out there I'm all right but when I get them on a short string right. and they don't act right you know I don't I want to just give up and swim on in. Right. <laughs> My theory is they in that net they ain't coming off. <laughs> yeah, you kept you kept that rod being up now. That'll be something around that isolated patch right there, don't they? So it clicked to five before he flopped off? Yeah, it went to five two. Really? Man, it didn't settle. Well, no wonder it fell off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, it, it uh, I, I think, what did it say? What did you read? First? Uh, 415. Yeah, that's probably about five. Yeah. I thought it was like a little over four, and then, but it went to five and stayed there for a second. Yeah, when it first hit the scales, it hit at 415. Barometric pressure's falling. Yeah. See them bubbles it's putting on that water. What size line four carbon? Twenty. That's in Bizx. What's on there? We use uh man. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people think they're buzz bait leaving bubbles, so that's not a good buzz bait, it don't leave bubbles. This one's a good buzz bait, it leaves bubbles. 
bubbles strictly are based off barometric pressure. Really? Yeah. Yeah, see how many bubbles that frog's leaving up there? And not enough pressure on the water to pop them. See how long they're lingering? <laughs> 